If you do not have the American Cancer Society's fundraising app just yet, visit cancer.org slash app and choose Apple or Google Play. Or you can just open up the App Store on your phone and search for ACS Fundraising. Once you have signed into your account, you will get this main screen. The navigation menu is on the bottom with five main tabs. The first tab is Home, which shows you the event date, countdown, as well as how much you've individually fundraised. You can swipe left to see how much your team has fundraised and swipe again to see how much the event as a whole has raised. The second is the donations tab, which will show you the donations to your personal page, team members that have joined your team, team donors, and more. Third tab is the fundraise tab, which is your one-stop shop for tools for fundraising. The fourth is the profile tab, which allows you to personalize your personal fundraising page. And lastly, the more tab has important event details, preferences, and more. Let's deep dive some of these tabs. The fundraising app has a multitude of features that allow you to communicate your participation, recruit members for your team, and send thank yous to donors. To recruit friends and family to your team, you're going to navigate to the My Profile tab or to the More tab. The capability is in two places. On the top left, click the silhouette with the plus sign. Choose who you're inviting and then choose how you'd like to invite them. Text, email, Facebook message, it's up to you. It just makes it quick and easy with a tap of the button to share your team page and allow your friends and family to join your team. To send a thank you to a donor who made their donation online, tap the Donations tab. This is where the donations made to your fundraising page will appear. Swipe left on a donation and Say Thanks will appear on the right hand side. When you click Say Thanks, it will ask you if you wish to thank via Facebook, via text, email, or LinkedIn. One thing to note is if you swipe left and there's a gray bar, that means that the donation was made through Facebook and therefore their contact information wasn't entered. To thank donors who made their donations through Facebook, post on your timeline or in your Facebook fundraiser with a shout out thanking your donor. Navigate to the fundraising tab of the app, which can be found in the center of the bottom toolbar. Once you're there, select Share to Fundraise to reach out to friends, family, and colleagues with a few easy clicks. There are many ways to spread the word and seek support, including through Facebook, text, email, LinkedIn, or by copying the link to share wherever you'd like. Each option brings up a pre-written template for you. For example, clicking email will prompt an email template to pop up, making it easy for you to customize and send to whoever you'd like. You can share with your network in a variety of ways. The choice is yours. The more you share, the more you raise. On average, connected fundraisers raise $150 more through Facebook. Let's walk through how to launch a Facebook fundraiser with a few simple clicks from the app. First, make sure you're logged in and registered for your local event. Then navigate to the Fundraise tab of the app. At the top of that page, you will see an option to connect to Facebook and raise more. Click on that message and then follow the steps to allow Facebook to connect. Once you've completed the process, you can click Manage Your Facebook Fundraiser at the top of the Fundraising tab to navigate to it anytime. Once it's launched, you can customize your Facebook Fundraiser's bio and cover photo, you can invite friends, share updates, and more. From the Fundraise tab of the app, select Credit Card and then choose the desired amount. You may also click Other and type in the donation amount. If applicable, write the name of the donor's employer for matching gifts. Next, select where you would like to credit the donation. You can choose between your personal page, team, event, or ACS CAN. Now you've reached the credit card details section. You may enter the card info manually by typing in the boxes, or you can select scan next to the camera icon on the credit card number line to utilize your phone's camera to securely scan and autofill the form. Next, enter the donor's info, making sure to select either individual or business first. You can choose not to display the donor's name to the general public with one easy swipe, or you can skip this step. There is a $10 minimum donation for mailed receipts and receipts are required for donations over $250. If your donor qualifies to receive a receipt, select email or mail and input their details. 
When you're ready, select Review and Confirm. From the Fundraise tab of the app, select Check, and then choose the appropriate amount. If the amount on the check you are scanning is not shown, click Other and enter the correct total. If applicable, write the name of the donor's employer to double their impact through a matching gift. Next, select the appropriate page to credit the donation to. You can choose between your personal page, team, event, or ACS CAN. Now you're ready to scan the front and back of the check. The app will utilize your camera to scan and autofill the information into the app, just like mobile banking. Once you've scanned the front and back of the check, proceed to enter the donor's info, making sure to select either individual or business first. You can choose not to display the donor's name to the general public with one easy swipe, or you can skip this step. There is a $10 minimum donation for mailed receipts, and receipts are required for donations over $250. If your donor qualifies to receive a receipt, select email or mail and input their information. To finalize and process the check, select review and confirm the information. The Fundraise tab allows you to request donations through PayPal, GPay, and Apple Pay. When you click any of those options, you will be prompted to choose between sending an email or a text. From there, you will fill out a form with the information of the person you want to send the request to, including the amount of the requested donation, where you would like it credited to, their name and contact info, and preferred method of receipt. Once you're logged into the ACS fundraising app and registered for your event, you will see the event date and your goal progress on the homepage. To edit your personal goal, click the pencil icon type in your desired amount and select update. You can swipe on the goal section to see and edit your team's goal and to see the event's goal. The last area you can swipe to after the event's goal says fundraise now and will navigate you to the fundraise tab with one simple tap. Participants who update their personal page raise six times more than the average participant. To get started, select my profile from the bottom toolbar. You can add up to two photos and a video by selecting the camera icon on the banner at the top of the page. To customize your About Me section, you can click the pencil icon and replace or edit the existing text. This is a great opportunity to share your reason for supporting Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. Do you walk in honor or in memory of someone? Are you participating as a way to give back to the community with your workplace? Have you personally been impacted by breast cancer? consider sharing your story here. At the top of your personal profile, you will see a toolbar. Navigate to Team Page to edit your team's photos and About Us section. To update or add photos, click the camera icon on the banner at the top of the page. Swipe to add or edit more than one. To edit the About Us section, click the pencil icon and share your team's story by customizing the pre-written bio. The third option at the top of your profile's toolbar will navigate you to the Badges page. There are four categories of badges, status, activity, individual fundraising, and team fundraising. Status badges are automatically unlocked based on the questions you answered during the registration process. These include survivor, caregiver, and team leader status. Activity badges can be earned by personalizing your page, donating to yourself or someone else registered for the event, and by fundraising. Fundraising badges are unlocked when you reach individual and team milestones. For example, participants who raise $1,000 individually will see the Grand Club badge displayed on their page, as well as all of the badges below that level. Badges are a fun way of seeing your progress and impact growing throughout the event season. On the left side of the toolbar at the top of your profile page, you will see a small person icon with a plus sign. Clicking this icon will bring up a menu of options for inviting friends and family to join your fundraising efforts. You can invite them to walk with you, invite a survivor to the event, or share the ACS fundraising app. When you click on an option from that menu, a list of ways to share will pop up. You can share on Facebook, via text or email, or on LinkedIn. For all of these options, we provide ready-to-use templates that you can customize or send as is. 
On the right side of your profile's top toolbar, you will see a small square with an arrow emerging from its center. If you click on that icon, a menu will appear with options to share your page. This is similar to the menu on the Fundraise tab. Each option will bring up a template message for you to share to ask for donations. The final tab on the bottom toolbar is titled More and brings up a menu of options including event details, notification preferences, invite options, and help features. The event details page links to the event website and displays a map of the event's location and other critical details like date and time. You can share these details with others by clicking on the square icon with the arrow emerging from its center on the top right hand side of the page. The notifications menu allows you to turn different types of alerts on or off, including donations, achievements like milestones and badges, event news, and general American Cancer Society news such as prevention tips, research updates, support services, and more. Similarly to other tabs of the app, you can invite people to join you in a number of ways, all with a few simple clicks. The Help tab brings up a helpful FAQ as well as the contact details for our support team. You can also switch to another American Cancer Society event by clicking on Switch Event at the top right hand side of the More tab. If you are registered for making strides in multiple cities or if you participate in another campaign like Relay for Life or Real Men Wear Pink in addition to strides, you may find this feature useful. Be sure to explore these settings to maximize your app experience.